Good evening, planet Earth. I'm back. It's been a while. Uh, I've been pretty busy, kind of. Um, so the, the video is going to have this video, the final video of the Life in MIT series. Well, two parts. First part, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what actually happened uh, since the last time you've heard from me. Um, and then the second part will talk about, uh, I think, the things that a final video should. Uh, the big takeaways from my my four years in MIT. So first and foremost, there's this thing that happened where I got a diploma, graduated and stuff, that was really cool, um, but there was a twist. So graduation day uh, is outside, it's on Killian Court, right uh, in front of the big dome, the uh, dome, and well, it rained, uh, which is unfortunate. And of course, all of the the, uh, the faculty and the speakers, they got a nice little awning, um, but all of the graduates uh, got to just be very wet and cold, um, because it was also rather chilly that day. For me, it was extra worse. So, extra worse. It's it 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 extra bad, unfortunately. I don't know if extra worse is the word I was looking for. Regardless, um, I woke up that morning and uh, found that my nose was slightly runny. Uh, I believe I've alluded to the fact before in these videos that I'm allergic to almost everything. I'm allergic to pollen, to dust, to animals, to mold, to anything. So I thought, oh, my allergies are stacking up. That's fine. And then as I proceeded to go through my morning, I, my nose proceeded to get worse. So I was like, oh, I think I'm sick. And I got uh, 10 tissues and stuffed them in my pocket for graduation. And everything just went downhill. Um, my nose continued to get worse. I started going through the tissues while I was waiting to assemble for for the ceremony. Uh, and by the time we got outside, and they have the different speakers, and then they start calling the names, and I'm like hundreds of names down because it's a class of like a, uh, over a thousand people graduating. Um, so. I'm shivering a lot, uh, it's rainy, so I'm wet and cold and damp, and I take out my tissues to blow my nose in them, and they are already damp from the rain, and they're already damp from being used three times or previously, um, and I just cycle through those ten tissues feeling miserable. Uh, at one point, I think, um, so the girl next to me kept seeing me blow my nose, and I think she thought I was using the same tissue over and over again, when in fact I was using this one of the same ten tissues over and over again. And she asked if I wanted another tissue. I said, do you need a new tissue? I was like, that'd be nice. So uh, I then cycled through 11 of the tissues instead of 10, which was great. Um, but I got a diploma, which is cool. Uh, it says that I did what I claimed that I did, uh, in case these videos were not enough evidence. Uh, this says that I have my bachelor's degree in physics. So props to me for that. Um, because as all of you remember, um, it has not always been easy. <laughs> so, that was good. Um, I then developed a really bad sore throat halfway through the ceremony. Um, so as soon as my name was called and I got my diploma, I kind of shuffled out into MIT because I, I just couldn't bear sitting through the rest of the ceremony. Uh, and I wasn't the only one. A lot of people were, just because they were so wet and cold, um, and with the added... Uh, detriment of being sick. It was not something that I wanted to handle. So I found my family and everything, and we uh, we enjoyed the rest of the day, to some degree, because I was miserable uh, with my sickness. Uh, and then, then, uh, so I had a pack, and that was interesting, because upon getting back to my room after the festivities of the day, I was even more sick. Uh, I felt my sore throat was bad, my nose was bad, um, I was really weak, really tired, fatigued, um, so I couldn't pack that night, and that wasn't good. I was moving into my apartment the following day. Um, so I went to bed, and I woke up the next morning with the hopes of being m more well-rested and being able to pack at least. And it turns out that while well, my sore throat was gone, my nose was gone completely, um, but I was throwing up. So anytime I moved, I felt more nauseous. So I, I feel like moving around carrying things and packing things was not conducive to my physical situation. So I had a lot of help packing, uh, which was, was great because otherwise I would have been in trouble. Um, but did get my room packed uh, and got myself out into my new location in Boston. 
Uh, I'm living in Boston right now. Uh, this is my apartment. It is about 1.5 times the size of my McGregor room, um, which is, is cozy. Uh, they, although the difference is that it, it, it crammed into it uh, in the 1.5 times the size is also a kitchen and a bathroom. Um, so uh, that's interesting. Uh, my big white whiteboard is behind the computer, so you can't see it. There's a wall right behind where this camera is. Um, and I don't, I don't, I, I want to use it. I want to put it up. It feels sad without it. Um, but I, I don't have a great spot, and we'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, other things wrapping up the year. Um, I also, so I had the pleasure of meeting with the president of MIT, President Reif, uh, where I told, talked to him about my uh, belief that MIT should really have an education degree, uh, with all of the emphasis it's put on. EDX and really encouraging its students to innovate in education or the education delivery or go into education or anything like that. Um, I think one thing that's really missing is an education degree, and I did write a tech article on that also, so you can find that. Um, and uh, that was that was really great, and I really enjoyed talking to and, and meeting him. Um, and then I also so I wrote an article. Uh, the last article I wrote for the tech was a review of MIT, uh, based on my experience. Um, and that article is in uh, the description of the video below, the link. You can find the link and click on it, and it will take you there. Uh, and you should read it. Uh, because it will go much more in detail, much more in depth about my thoughts about my time at MIT um, than I can do in a, in a video. And I think it conveys a lot of my, um, a lot of my thoughts on my time there. Uh, and because of that, I got to meet with the head of the physics department, um, who enjoyed my, my piece and uh, has enjoyed a lot of the other articles I've written. So we had a really nice conversation. Um, and it was all in all, it was, a, it was a great way to wrap up the year, meeting with uh, two, you know, two very important people relative to my experience at MIT. Um, so that was great. Uh, I moved into my apartment here. Uh, I have since been preparing my curriculum because I got a job. I don't know if I told you that. I feel like I didn't since the last video, because I can see it on my computer screen. The last video was Interviews Begin. So Interviews also ended, it turns out, uh, and I they ended with me getting a job. So I am going to be teaching high school physics next year. Um, next year in particular, I will have, I think, four freshman physics classes, um, which will be great. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I've been, I developed the first two exams, uh, the first problem set. Yes, they will be having problem sets instead of wimpy little homeworks. Uh, so. Well, I'm gonna. I'm you know a big focus of my class is gonna be on problem solving. Um, it's one thing that I really got out of MIT and has enriched my experience, and also something that I wish I had had a lot more of prior to MIT. So they're gonna be solving actual problems. They're not gonna be doing plugging in numbers into equations, um, and they will do that to learn the equations. But the actual assessments will assess not only their understanding of the content but their problem solving abilities. Um, because I think physics is a prime vehicle through which to deliver the skill of problem solving. Um, so uh, I've been doing that. Uh, I had an adventure where I had to get electricity for my apartment, and I had to get internet, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and I'm, I'm mostly unpacked at this point. You guys know that my room is not always the neatest room um, in the world. Uh, and that is certainly the case right now. Uh, most of my stuff, I am pretty much unpacked, but I don't have as many drawers and spaces to put stuff in this room as I did in McGregor. So it's been a bit of a challenge finding places to put everything. Regardless, um, that is uh, the first half of the video talking about updating you since last time. Um, so I'm going to end, and I'm going to go into the second half of the video, which is in video two please watch it, uh, where I talk about my overall thoughts about MIT and what I've taken away from it and all that stuff. So, kind of piece part two. Hold on.